goodness me! What's happening? The robot is tidying up everything! Yes! Including us! It's a monster! How do we stop it? Only Ben can stop it! Hello? Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Sorry, it is a bit late, but this is an emergency. We need Ben. Now! Right-o! Ben, there's an emergency at the little castle. We have to go right away. Right-o! Elves to the rescue! <laughs> Who's the best at rescuing? Elves are best at rescuing! And what are we? We're elves! Master! Master! Oh! It's wound down! Hooray! But what could have caused the toy robot to act so strangely? Uh, I think it was my magic key that did it. Ah! Magic! <laughs> what have you got there, Gaston? <laughs> it's the proper key! Well, well done, done, Gaston! <laughs> Uh, ben, are you sure that's a good idea? It'll be fine. <laughs> ah, that's the toy robot I remember. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's too small. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen. I've seen bigger. Much, much bigger. Really? Really. It was many years ago when I first met Big Bad Barry. Big Bad Barry? Who's that? Only the biggest, hugest, most gigantic-est fish the world has ever seen. No! It was a dark and stormy night. I was out sailing in my favourite boat, Hilda, when I first saw Big Bad Barry. I knew straight away I had to catch him. I had to be the fisherman who took him home for the biggest fish dinner in history. I tried several different baits before I found what Barry liked. Cheese. Cheese? Cheese. I put a bit of cheese on the line, and Barry was hooked straight away. The only thing was, he was stronger than my old boat Hilda was. Bad Barry dragged my poor boat Hilda all over the lake. And when he'd finished that, he ate her. He ate Hilda? It sounds horrid. It was. So you built Bunty to replace Hilda? No. First, there was Doris. Then Peggy. There was Abigail, Fifi, and Trixabel. Not forgetting Sabrina, Vicky, and Miss Boo Boo. Barry ate them all. <gasps> I tried to catch Barry so many times, but he was always too strong. So that's where all the cheese went. In the end, I gave up. Big Bad Barry is still out there, somewhere. Ooh. Incredible! I have come to a royal... Food delivery! At last, Mr. Alf. King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Well, today we've got mushrooms, tomatoes, baked beans and, of course, eggs. That should make a splendid king's breakfast. Yes, yes, thank you, Mr. Alf. But the only thing I need today is flour. Flour? Yes, flour. For making bread. The king wants bread. No problem. We'll pick up a bag of flour from the elf windmill. Thank you, Mr Elf. Let's see. We should be able to deliver it next week. Next week? But I need flour today. Ah, you know what they say? You can't rush the elf windmill. Hmm. Maybe I should visit this elf windmill. Of course, Nanny Plum. We can take you if you like. 
The windmill sounds fun. Can I come too? Of course. Hop aboard, Princess Holly. <laughs> Ben. Hello, Holly. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, Nanny Plum. Hi there. Can I have a bag of flour, please? Certainly. We should have a bag of flour ready in a week. But I need it now. Ho, ho. You know what they say. You can't rush the elf windmill. Why not? Ho, ho. Hi, Holly. Do you want to come and play? I'd like to play, Ben, but I can't. We're going to visit King and Queen Marigold. They're a bit snooty. I'm glad I'm not going. I wish I wasn't going. Maybe your mum will let you stay and play with me. Mummy, can I play with Ben today? What a good idea. Hooray! Ben can come too. Oh. That's all right, isn't it, Mr Elf? Oh, yes. Go off and enjoy yourself, Ben. See you later. Bye. Oh, you're coming too, are you? OK. Magic car, drive on. This is fun. A magic car. Yes, it uses fairy dust to make it go. Cool. I want you all on your best behaviour today. Yes, Queen Thistle. King and Queen Marigold's home will be full of very precious things. Horrible, but precious. So you mustn't touch anything. Visiting King and Queen Marigold sounds like hard work. It'll be exhausting. Here we are. King and Queen Marigold's castle. Oh, what a horrible building. Such bad taste. It's beautiful. Cool castle. Hello and welcome. Holly, you remember King and Queen Marigold? Hello, Hello Princess, Princess Holly. Holly. Hello, and this is my best friend Ben. You've met him before. Of course. The charming little goblin. I can't wait for the king's birthday party. Me too. We've got a really big firework to let off. Yes, it's as big as a carrot. Ho, ho, ho. And there'll be music, dancing and cakes. Everyone loves King Thistle's birthday party. Firework delivery for King Thistle's birthday party. Oh, Ben, there's not going to be a party. No, no party? King Thistle has decided he doesn't like getting older. Who does? I do. So, there won't be any fireworks now. Or music. Or dancing. <sighs> We'd better take this delivery back to the elf tree. Can I stay here with Holly? OK. Bye, Dad. See you later. If we could cheer King Thistle up, then maybe he'd want a party. Good idea, Ben. I could do a magic spell to cheer the king up. Really? Will that work? Of course. But how do you cheer people up with magic? I'll show you. Abracadabra, abracadab, make Queen Thistle all cheered up. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> Look how happy the Queen is! <laughs> Make it stop! <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> Mummy can't stop laughing! Please! <laughs> oh, that was horrible. I'm not sure about that. You were very happy. Yes, a little too happy. 
Maybe we won't use magic to cheer the king up. Perhaps we could cheer King Thistle up another way. How? My dad always likes talking about when he was a boy. Does he? So, if we ask your dad about when... Ah, oh, looks like the twins' party has started. Ah! Get rid of the dragon! All right. Just trying to liven the party up a bit. I'm putting the grown-ups' ones in the library too. Now for my conjuring show. Hooray! Queen Sissel, please take a card. <laughs> Don't show me. What is your card? Um, the two of hearts. Your card is the two of hearts. That's the worst trick I've ever seen. I thought it was rather good. How's it done? For my next trick, I will turn myself into a mouse. Ooh. You little ones need to wait behind this door for a moment. How do you change yourself into a mouse? I put these ears on and this nose, then I... Uh, was it a good idea putting the toddlers in the library? What? It's the same room you put all the wands in. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry, the great wizardo will sort this out. I'll show them my mouse trick. That will surprise them. They'll be surprised how bad it is. So it might work. Look, children, I've turned myself into a... Mousy, mousy! Squeak! Wow, that's not a bad costume. Uh... The toddlers have magic the wise old elf into a real mouse. Squeak! Can someone please magic me back into an elf? No, we can't do any magic because somebody put all the wands in the library. Ah, uh, yes. Squeak! Ahoy, me hearties! I'm here to pick up my niece. Are you on holiday? Holiday? Good gracious, no. It's Christmas Eve. There's work to be done preparing tonight's Elf and Fairy Feast. Oh, yes, the Midnight Elf and Fairy Feast. On Christmas Eve. With music and singing. And lanterns. Yes, and those lanterns don't hang themselves up to work. Stop, Mr Elf. It's about time you had a rest. A rest? You've been working hard all year. Just sit down and relax for five minutes. I can give you three. You work too hard. Elves like working hard. And I'm an elf. <gasps> oh, dear. You really must relax. Just say, I'm on holiday. Well, all right. I'm on holiday. Ah. That's nice. Hello? Wise old elf speaking? Ho, ho, ho! It's Father Christmas here. Oh, Mr Christmas. We seem to be missing some toys. I can't find Box 571. Box 571? I need those toys before tonight. Or oh, some children will not get their Christmas presents. Never fear, Mr Christmas. We will get the box to you. I will deliver it personally. Box 571? It could be anywhere. We'll never find it. Is it this box, Dad? The one that says Box 571? What? Well done, Ben. You found it. To the elf plane. We leave immediately. Well, that was a nice holiday. Are we nearly there yet? Yes, Nanny. We're almost at the North Pole. Will we meet Father Christmas? No, Holly. Remember, we never land at the North Pole. We drop the toys by parachute. Does Father Christmas catch them? No. The toys are collected by... Goblins. Not goblins. Arctic elves. Goblins, pixies, whatever. My brother is an Arctic elf. I didn't know you had a brother. Oh, yes. He's in charge of the Arctic elves. 
Calling Arctic Elves, this is Flight 1001. Receiving you loud and clear, Flight 1001. Please drop the toys. Righty all! Toys away! Now we can go home. It's a shame we never met Father Christmas. Or the Arctic Elves. The good thing is, we'll be back in time for the Elf and Fairy Feast. Oh, yes. The Elf and Fairy Feast. At midnight. With dancing. And lanterns. <laughs> oh, dear. The Elf plane sounds a bit odd. Is it broken? Of course not. This plane is built to last 1,000 flights. Oh. Uh, this is flight 1,001. Oh, look. Lots of cops and things are falling out. Uh-oh. We're going down. <laughs> Phew. We landed safely. That was lucky. Lucky? We're stuck at the North Pole. But now we might meet Father Christmas. And the Ar... Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Ben! ben. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your card. Cor, a space rocket. And here's your present. Wow, a space mobile. We made it ourselves. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. And later, all your friends will be coming to your birthday party. Cool. Who can that be? Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. You're a bit early for my party. A uh, party? Have you brought me a birthday card? A uh, birthday card? Holly, you haven't forgotten my birthday, have you? Oh, uh... uh... Happy birthday, Ben. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. Uh, I've just got to pop back home for something. Oh. See you later. <gasps> oh, dear, oh, dear. I've forgotten Ben's birthday. <laughs> Milk, sugar, flour and an egg. Good. Let's do some baking. Hocus Pocus. Nanny Plum! Nanny Plum! <laughs> I've forgotten Ben's birthday. Oh, don't worry, my little one. He'll have another birthday next year. No, no. It's really important. I have to do something for this birthday. Ben is my best friend. Oh. I've got to make a birthday card really quickly, but I don't know where to start. What you need is a little magic to get you going. Hello! Hello. My goodness! Mum, Dad, are you astrophysicists? No, oh, we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> Do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, uh no. no. <sighs> Nobody knows the answer. Maybe we could ask the wise old elf. Yes, he's wise. He's old. And, and he's, he's an, an elf. elf. <laughs> <laughs> this is the wise old elf's study where he thinks about things and is wise and stuff. Enter. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. How can I help you? Wise old elf, we have a question. The answer wasn't in our storybook. It's an elf question, not really a fairy matter. So we thought, as you are the wise old elf... Yes, of course. Ask me any question, anything at all. <coughs> Where do the stars go in the daytime? Uh, ask me another question. Uh, on sport, perhaps. You're not really wise, are you? You're just old. So, old elf, 
You don't know the answer? Er, uh, no. But I do know where to find it. Where? Follow me. Is it far? All of this searching for answers has made me a bit tired. We can take the lift. Mind the doors, please. Where are we going? But how will Betty Caterpillar fly? Well, she won't exactly be a caterpillar anymore. Ah, uh, I don't get it. You will tomorrow. Good night, Ben. Good night, Dad. Ben! Ben! Holly! <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, where's Betty? Um, I don't know. But look at that. Ugh. What is it? Don't know, but it wasn't here yesterday. Hiya. Hi, Violet. Hi, Strawberry. Ugh. What's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Ah, uh, actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> Hello, Betty. Oh. <laughs> I did try to stop it, Nanny, but it got worse. Well, thank goodness the King and Queen aren't here to see all this mess. <laughs> it's the King and Queen. Hooray! It's very nice of you all to welcome us home like this. May I be the first to say how pleased we are to see you back again, Your Majesties. While you were away... Yes, yes. I'm a bit tired, so if you'll excuse me. Ah, stop! Uh, maybe you should go for a little walk, Your Majesty. I've just got a bit of tidying up to do inside. Thank you, Nanny Plum, but all I want to do now is have a nice bath. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> ah, ice cream. Sorry, Daddy. It's all my fault. I tried to be a good queen and make everybody happy, but it's a lot harder than you'd think. <laughs> yes, Holly. I know it is. Especially with elves. Elves are never happy. <clears throat> we are happy when we are busy. Elves like being busy. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, I command you to go back to work at once. Hooray! And your first job will be to clean up all this ice cream. Thank you, Your Majesty. Three cheers for King Thistle. And Queen Holly. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Orange juice, Ben? Yes, please, Mum. It's an earthquake! It's an earthquake! It's an earthquake! It's not an earthquake! Phew! It's worse than an earthquake. It's a woodpecker. Ooh. 
<gasps> it's smashing the tree! It's made a hole! It's got inside! Oh, it's not in my flat! Phew! It's not in my flat! Here, son, let me try. I believe we have found the bird. Everybody, keep calm and don't panic. Ah! Ah! Everybody out! Run for your lives! Ah! Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We've got a bird in our tree. Yes, I saw it first. It's a woodpecker. That's correct. I didn't realise your majesty was interested in birds. Oh, yes. I'm a bird spotter. Here's my badge. Then it's very good you turned up. We need all the help we can get. Take me to the bird. Oh, thank goodness you're here, your majesty. The woodpecker is in our home. It's building a nest. And soon there'll be eggs. And when they hatch, there'll be baby woodpecker chicks. And baby woodpecker chicks are extremely rare to spot. Fantastic. When they hatch, I can come back and tick them off in my book. It's got to go now before it lays its eggs. It can't go. I want... Ah! It's all right, Mum. It's just our friend Lucy. Oh, uh, uh, nice to meet you, Lucy. Hello. Here's a little present to remind you of your visit. It's our latest toy, fresh from the factory. Wow, thanks. Is this made from my rubbish? Yes, that's why we're very grateful to you for putting rubbish in the Great Elf Tower. What's the Great Elf Tower? He means the litter bin. You're welcome. Thanks for showing me your tree. I always thought fairies lived in castles. For the last time, we are not fairies. We're elves! <laughs> I live in a castle, Lucy. Come and see! Wow! A real fairy castle! <laughs> it's OK, Daddy. It's only Lucy, the little girl. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. How do you do? Oh, another little elf. I'm not an elf. I'm a fairy king. Nice to meet you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Lucy, home time. Oh, I have to go now. Thanks for leaving all the stuff in the bin. Don't you mean the great elf tower? <laughs> ah. <laughs> he really does like you. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Oh, dear. The car won't start. Look, it says empty on the petrol gauge. No petrol? Oh, that's not good. Oh, I wish we could help them. Uh, Nanny Plum, maybe you could sort this out with a bit of, um, fairy thingy. Fairy thingy? What's that? Mm -hmm. Hello, Your Majesty. May I present the very latest elf toy? A space rocket. It's perfect. Don't you want to see it fly? <sighs> OK, if I must. Is that it? Yes. But it's called a space rocket. It didn't go anywhere near space, did it? It's just a toy, Your Majesty. Just a toy? I could kick a football higher than that. And rockets should be able to go higher than footballs. Well, I'm sure we can make it go higher. How high? I could make a rocket go to the moon if I wanted to. No, you couldn't. Yes, I could. I'm an elf. And elves can do anything. Very well. I command the elves to build a rocket to fly me to the moon. And me! To fly me and Princess Holly to the moon. And me and Gaston. Well, well, well. And Nanny Plum to look after the children. I bet you can't fly Holly, Ben, Gaston, me and Nanny Plum to the moon. You're on. By tonight. Oh. 
Okay. Marvellous. See you later, then. Come on, Ben. We'd better go and start making that rocket. It's a matter of elf honour. Okay. Bye, Holly. See you tonight. Bye. Ah, how did the toy inspection go? Uh, did the king say the toy rocket was perfect? Uh, he thought it could go a bit higher. Oh, really? Well, I suppose I could fit as strong as spring. How high does the king want it to go? To the moon. To the moon? And I said we could have some people inside. People inside? By tonight. Impossible! <gasps> it's the gnome! He's come back to eat our breakfast! <laughs> oh! A mole! <laughs> Shoo! Shoo! Go away, Mole! <laughs> Princess Holly, do you know a magic spell to get rid of moles? I'm sorry, Mr Elf. I don't. Oh, dear. Think, Mr Elf. What gets rid of moles? Hello! <laughs> Hooray! Yes. Moles don't like us gnomes. No idea why. Ah, uh, thank you, Mr Gnome, for, uh... Saving our campsite from the mole. That's all right. What's for breakfast? The mole ate all the food. Oh, dear. Good morning. Nanny Plum. Plum! How was your night? It was very strange. Mr Gnome turned up and he loves oranges. And Mr Gnome sang a funny song called Rinky Dinky Doo. Then a mole came along and ate our washing line and all our food. And now we haven't any breakfast. Yes, I thought that might happen. That's why I've brought the magic picnic basket. Breakfast for everyone! Hooray! Hooray! Oh, I'm actually very hungry. Oh, have you not eaten either? Not today. Oh, dear, it's empty. <laughs> it isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. Magic basket, please. Breakfast for everyone! Hooray! I get the idea. Magic basket, please. 20 poached eggs. Lots of toast. Nine jars of jam. 40 sausages and 90 pancakes. Yippee! That's the Spall Throttle. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the Blotto Horn! <laughs> Delightful! They all sound silly. <laughs> ah, that's because you don't have sensitive elf hearing. Oompa, 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 Right! Enough of that! Princess Holly, could you remind us what your tune sounded like, please? I don't suppose you lot can read music. Well, I haven't seen this particular piece before. You played that perfectly. Perfect for you, maybe, but it's not elf music. Elf music has oompa oompa, like this. Oompa 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 Just remember, you are playing for King and Queen Marigold, and they are very snooty. We like oompa music, but King and Queen Marigold don't. Quite. So play Holly's tune, please. <laughs> Lovely! Uh, Holly, do the elf band sound any better? Yes, Daddy. They've been practising all day. OK. Let's hear them play. Oh. And we're elves! Oh, 
Where's my horn? Ben, you must look after your things. A good elf never loses their things. Oh, where's my piano gone? What's happening? Ah! Ants! Oi! That's our TV! Why are the ants taking all our stuff? I don't know! Ants! Outrageous! Nanny Plum, do something! OK, let's follow them. Where are the ants taking our things? Probably to the Queen Ant. Queen Ant? Is she pretty like Mummy? Uh... Does she have lovely dresses and a sparkly crown? No, the Queen Ant is a different sort of queen. Oh. My horn! There's my wand! Oi! That's our TV! The ants are taking all our things! Yes, and ours too! Where are they taking it? Down to the Queen Ant! Nanny, I command you to have a word with this Queen Ant! What word would that be, Your Majesty? Uh, tell her to stop taking our stuff! I would, Your Majesty, but I can't speak ant. It's one of the more difficult insect languages, along with centipede. What we need is someone who can speak ant. Gaston! Ah, oh, good. Ladybirds can speak ant. <laughs> Who's the best at sweeping leaves? Tails are best at sweeping leaves. And what are we? We're owls. <coughs> oh, never mind. Who's the best at sweeping leaves? Owls are best at sweeping leaves. And what are we? So many leaves, I have to use three magic brooms. Nanny, why do the leaves fall off the trees? Goodness knows. Some leaves are so pretty. Oh, they might look pretty to you, Violet, but it just means more work for me. This one looks just like the leaf in Ben's hat. It's an oak leaf. It must be from the elf tree. I don't know why elves have to live in a tree. I don't know why we have to have trees. Or autumn. Grumbling again, Nanny. You should be happy. Autumn is here. Yes, Your Majesty. Where are you going, Nanny? I'm returning these leaves. Wait for us, Nanny. Who's the best at sweeping leaves? Well, the best at sweeping leaves. Hello, wise old owl. <gasps> I believe these are your leaves. Oh, thank you, Nanny Plum. Hi, girls. Hi, boys. Such beautiful colours. Look, the leaves in your hats have changed colour too. Oh, so they have. Hmm, interesting. Let's play tag. OK. Tag. You're it. Wait, I wasn't ready. <laughs> tag. <laughs> Can't catch me. Ooh, look, a birdie. Where? Tag. <laughs> you tricked me. <laughs> I'll be needing a crew. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Can I come? And me. I'd better come too. If there's any trouble, I can use magic to help us. No, Nanny Palum. There will be no magic on the elf submarine. Because we're elves. And elves don't do magic. Yes, we know. <laughs> Polly, my faithful friend, you'll have to wait here. <laughs> Mr. Elf, steer the submarine. Aye, aye. Ben and Holly, wind up the engine. Aye, aye, aye Captain. <laughs> what shall I do? Why, you just sit there and look pretty, my little mermaid. Oof. I know this lake. 
I've sailed on it often. Are you a sailor? I was a sailor. I'm not anymore. Why not? Big Bad Barry. Who's Big Bad Barry? Only the biggest, giganticest, most enormous fish the world has ever seen. He's eaten nine of Dad's boats. You lost nine boats? I thought I was a bad sailor. I'm not a bad sailor. I'm just unlucky. That Big Bad Barry is quite big. And bad. Dive, if you please, Mr. Elf. Dive! 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 Oh, it's so pretty. Look! Where? What is it? It's Redbeard's boat! By Neptune, you're right! Well spotted, Ben! Oh, for a moment, I thought you'd seen Big Bad Barry. Ho ho! <laughs> Toy Spider, Dad gets it out every year. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Happy Elf Joke Day! Oh, ho, 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 ho. <gasps> Mr. Elf, I'm terribly sorry, Princess Holly. I hope we didn't startle you. <laughs> it's okay. It's funny. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Hello, Princess Holly. Are you having a merry elf joke day? <laughs> yes, I like jokes now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Nanny Plum was here. She loves jokes. Oh, I didn't know Nanny Plum liked such things. Yes, Nanny's got a really good sense of humour. Really? Then maybe we should go and show her some jokes. <laughs> to the elf truck. I'll tell Nanny Plum you're here. Oh, no, no, Princess Holly. A joke should be a surprise. <laughs> this will be fun. Oh, I'm really busy. Who can that be? Hello. What do you want? Hello. What do you want? What? What? Why are you copying everything I say? <laughs> Why are you copying everything I say? Oh, I haven't got time for this. <laughs> I haven't got time for this. Silly old fool. Silly old fool. Oh. I don't think Nanny found that funny. I thought you said she liked jokes. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I'm helping Mum make cakes. Ooh, can I help? Fairies are good at making cakes. Of course, Princess Holly. You can help with the stirring. That's my favourite bit. Splashing and sploshing the cake mixture. <laughs> I'd like more stirring and less splashing and sploshing, please. <laughs> <laughs> splish, splash, splosh, splush. <laughs> Holly, maybe you should do the stirring. OK, Mrs Elf. Very good stirring, Holly. It could have been a bit more splashy. <laughs> Next, we put the mixture into the cake tin. It looks really yummy. Mmm, can we have one now? Sorry, Ben, I have to bake them in the oven first. Oh, can't we just cook them with magic? <laughs> These are elf cakes baked without magic. But magic can bake them really quick. I'll show you. No thanks, Holly. Remember, elves don't do magic. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs> <laughs> Are the cakes ready yet? <laughs> they haven't even started cooking. Oh, maybe Holly should use a bit of magic. I think a better idea would be if you two played outside for a bit and I call you in when the cakes are ready. Oh, 
Do we have to? Just think of some fun games to play. I don't feel like playing games today. What nonsense. You love playing games. Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Can I speak to Ben, please? Righto. Ben, it's Princess Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Would you like to come on the Royal Fairy Picnic today? Yes, please. Good. Come to the castle as quick as you can. Mum, I've been invited on the Royal Fairy Picnic. How lovely. You'll need plenty of food so you have enough to share. What would you like? Um, pies, cheese and some fruit, please. I'll put in a whole strawberry. Then you'll have enough for everyone. Thanks, Mum. Bye. See you later. Look, everyone, it's Ben. Hello, everyone. Oh, oh, this should be fun. We've never had an elf on our royal picnic before. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. That looks heavy. Can I help you carry it? Oh, thanks, Ben. Oh, but it's really light. It's a magic basket. Uh, don't worry, Ben. You'll see. <laughs> Look, it's Gaston the ladybird. Hi, Gaston. Daddy, can Gaston join our picnic? Hmm, I'm not sure. What did he say? Nanny Plum can speak ladybird language. Gaston says he would like the pleasure of joining Princess Holly and Ben Elf on the Royal Fairy Picnic, Your Majesty. Very well. It's just a pity he's a bit smelly. Ben! Bedtime! Oh! That's my mum. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. Bye, Holly. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, let's go and find him. OK. Gaston, are you coming out to play? Gaston! Gaston's not answering. Oh. Maybe we've upset him. But we have such fun together. Yes, he <laughs> like when I tip him over and he wiggles his feet. And when I ride on his back. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think Gaston enjoys it? Hmm, perhaps he doesn't. Maybe Gaston's sad. And that's why he won't come out to play. Oh, dear. What can we do? Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Food delivery. What kept you, Mr Elf? King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Sorry, Nanny Plum. We dropped a carrot on the way and had to go back to pick it up. OK. Let's get this food into the castle. Carrot, tomato, small lettuce. Oh, but where's the egg? <gasps> the egg? That
that's the one thing we need. The king wants an egg. We'll go straight back to the elf farm and get one. Holly, do you want to come with us? Yes, please. Nanny, can I go to the elf farm? OK, Holly. You can make sure we get a good egg. <laughs> <laughs> Buzzing noise. I hope it's not the engine. It's Gaston the Ladybird. Gaston, we're going to the elf farm. Do you want to come along? Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Old elf. Hello, Princess Holly. Welcome to the elf farm. <laughs> you must wear this hard hat. What for? In case something falls on your head. Ooh. This way to the carrots. <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Poppy, you're a long way from home. We better ring your mummy and daddy. Bunny rabbit. Now, now, Daisy. That wasn't very nice. Bunny Rabbit! What's going on? Bunny Rabbit! More, more, more! What's that noise? It's coming from over there. I think we found my little sisters. <laughs> Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> wow! Look at all those rabbits. That one's wearing my dad's hat. Poppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity. They've turned all the elves into rabbits. Daisy, that wasn't funny or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty catty. <laughs> Daisy and Poppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to. Meow! <laughs> Birdy Wordy! Birdy Wordy! Phew! Do you think that's it? Yes. Luckily, birds can't hold wands. Ah! <laughs> oh, Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Poppy have been doing a bit of magicking. I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. Right. We've got a lot of time. My invisible spell has worn off. That's all right. We're nearly there. No one will see us now. Hello, Ben. Hello, Princess Holly. Uh, hello, Mrs Elf. What are you two up to, then? Uh, nothing, Mum. We're just going to mend something. Yes, elves are good at mending things. And you're an elf. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mum. <laughs> This is where I keep all my mending stuff. <laughs> Glue, paint, brushes and glitter. Oh, goody. First, I have to put a mat down so that we don't get glue on the floor. Yes. And we must wear aprons to keep our clothes clean. <laughs> now what? We stick the pieces together with glue, like this. One, two, three. There, it's stuck. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> 
One, two, three. There, it mend it. Hooray! Hmm, it doesn't look quite right. Uh, we can paint it. Yes. That's better. Hmm, it had flowers on it too. I'm good at painting flowers. There. But I think he was a bit more sparkly. We can use glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mrs Elf. Hello, Princess Holly. Can Ben come out to play? Sounds like he's on his way down already. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Princes and princesses. OK. I can be the princess because I am a princess. And I can be the prince. Yes. I'll turn you into a prince by magic. Can't we just pretend I'm a prince? No. Magic is much better. Abracazobody. Oh, I seem to have turned Ben into a frog. Ha! <laughs> I always get frogs and princes mixed up. Ben, if you can hear me, croak. Good. I'm going to get help. Wait here. Nanny Plum, come quick. I've turned Ben into a frog. Oh, good. You've been practising your magic. No, no. It was an accident. Ben is not happy being a frog. Frogs are never happy. Can you help me turn Ben into himself again? All right. Now calm down. I'll fetch my wand while you wait with Ben. OK. Make sure he doesn't hop off. Frogs do that. <laughs> Ben's gone. Now I'll never find Ben and he'll be a frog forever. Hi, Holly. Hello, Violet. Food delivery. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I'm helping my dad today. He's very busy. Thank you, Mr L. Got a dash. On to our next delivery. Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Daddy, are you busy? I'm King Thistle. I'm always busy. I have lots of important work to do. You're not working now. I am. I'm practising sitting still without falling asleep. That's not work. It is King's work. And it's harder than it looks. Oh, what else is King's work? Making speeches. Shaking hands and waving a lot. <laughs> that sounds fun. Can I help you work today? Of course, Holly. Oh, goody. Magic car, drive on. Now, the first job for any king is waving. It's a bit boring, but you do it like this. Wave will work wonders wherever you go. Where are we going? Nanny Plum, what's the first bit of work I'm doing today? You're launching an elf boat, Your Majesty. How do you launch a boat? I'll show you. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! Hooray! This is where I make a speech. <clears throat> well done, elves, for building this boat. Seven o'clock. Time to get up. Ben, breakfast ready. Thanks, Dad. Right.
Right then, let's get your hair brushed. Let's get your elf hat on. Don't forget your new watch. There, now you're ready for school. But Mum, elf school doesn't start for ages. Can I go and see Holly? I want to show her my new watch. OK, but make sure you get to school on time. Of course I will. Elves are never late. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Phew, Mr Elf. Mornings are such hard work. I should say so. That's the cockerel crow, Princess Holly. Time for fairies to get up. Uh, is it morning already? Mm. Breakfast's ready, Holly. Uh, thank you, Nanny Plum. Let's get your hair brushed, Holly. And here's your crown. All done. Whoa. Mornings are such hard work. Yeah. Hello, Nanny Plum. What is it, Ben? I haven't got time to be answering the door to elves. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to... Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I've got a new... Fully wound up. Let's set off to the seaside. But, Dad, we have to wait for Princess Holly. Well, where is she? It's almost nine o'clock. dum dee dum dee doo doo dum dee Where is Holly? Relax, Mr Elf. We're on holiday. But Princess Holly's late. Fairies are always late. dum dee dum Hi, Ben. Oh, hi, Holly. I'm not too early, am I? No, Princess Holly. You're just in time. <clears throat> now we're all here. Let's go. We might make the seaside by lunchtime. If you want to get to the seaside quickly, I could try magicking us there. Um, I'd rather you didn't do any magicking today, Holly. Oh, sorry, Mr Elf. You see, Holly, you're coming on an elf day trip. Elves don't do magic. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> Hop in, everyone. Seaside, here we come. Here's the timetable. One o'clock, eat lunch. Two, play in the sand. Three, tidy up. Four, leave Seaside, arriving home at 4.30 precisely. Dad, it's a holiday. Sorry, Ben. It's just that I'm not used to having a day off. You work too hard, Mr Elf. Please try and relax today. <sighs> I'll do my best, Mrs Elf. Here we are, the seaside. Yippee! The sea! And sand! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the seaside. Come on, let's have lunch. Good idea. I'm hungry. Me too. Here's our picnic basket. <gasps> Daisy and Poppy put a spill on us. And we need a bit of help. Your Majesty. <laughs> we do seem to have got ourselves in a bit of a pickle. Uh, yes, the twins are a little high spirited today. Could you calm them down, please? Of course. Now, now, Daisy and Poppy. I'm sure you're not meant to fly so high. <laughs> fly so high. Fly so high. <laughs> fly high in the sky. <laughs> now, girls, put me down this instant. Poor Mrs Elf. Elves don't like flying. Looks like we need even more help. I'll call for more elves. Hello, Mr Elf speaking. Mr Elf, we've got an emergency at the little castle. Bring the elves. Bring all the elves. 
Right ho! Calling all elves! Emergency at the little castle! Right ho! If there's a problem, what do we say? Call an elf right away! And what are we? We're elves! Baby Plum is up so fun! The elves are here! What's the emergency? It's the twins! Is that you, Mrs Elf? Where are you? Uh, up here, Mr Elf! Goodness me, Mrs Elf! I thought you were invisible. <laughs> invisible! Oh, no! The twins have made all the elves invisible! <sighs> you would never catch an elf sitting on a toadstool. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dad. Hello, Mr Elf. Hello, Holly. I see you found my special reading place. Ah! It just catches the sun at this time of day. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, here we have a toadstool. With an elf on top. Um, yes, with an elf on top. He looks very happy. Uh, right. Let's move on. Yes. We have time for one last thing. Goodbye, Goodbye Mr Elf. Bye. What do you think the last thing is? I bet it's frogs. Nanny always shows us frogs. Yes, it'll be frogs. Who can guess what we're going to see next? <sighs> frogs. Yes, we're going to look at frogs. Um, uh, there aren't any frogs here. Not one frog. Well, that's disappointing. Can we go home now? It's no problem. I'll turn one of us into a frog. Can I have a volunteer, please? Come on. Who wants to be a frog? Goodness, what a lot of miseries. I'll just have to do it myself. Zigzag Zog, make me into a frog. Wow! <coughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. <laughs> And how smelly it is. Oh, stinky, wimpy poo! And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can...